everyone. Welcome to the 75 minute Sunday class. Uh, my name is Valerie D'Ambrosio and um, I'm super excited you're joining us today. And what, I, what, what I'd like you to just prepare for physically is um, if you have a block, bring that with you. Otherwise, a water bottle would be useful. That's what I'm going to use because I don't have a block. And if you find that you have tight shoulders, you might want to bring a strap. You also might want to have something to sit on, like a towel or a, um, or a pillow, something to lift your bottom so you're, when you sit in any posture where your hips are a little bit higher than your knees or there's any tension in your knees, you can place that under your hips. So um, I am, we'll just get started. And, and we're going to get started while I go into theme. So... <clears throat> What I would love for you to do is to come to a tabletop position and listen for my cues with this. So, like I said, as you're in tabletop, as you're as you're in this position that we're gonna do, I'm gonna just set the theme for us. So, tabletop position, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're doing something from the Agascu method, and this is just going to release our neck, any tension in our neck. We're gonna hold this posture for two minutes. So the posture is take your hand about one handprint forward. Your knees stay precisely where they are. Fingers are spread wide. And all you're gonna do is just shift your weight slightly forward. Your navel is toned. From that space, melt your heart. So draw the bottom tips of your shoulders on your back body and then let your head, head dangle, let it hang. You're not forcing it down, you're just letting it hang. Your arms are spreading, your hands are spreading, your arms are straight. Your shoulders are on your back body. You're just melting your heart. Your head just kind of softened and settled. And we're holding this posture and breathe deeply for two minutes. So begin to just breathe. You can soften the windows of your eyes if it feels comfortable for you. And just allow yourself to be in this posture. So first, as you're in this posture, let's just tap into our breath a little bit. Just notice the quality of your breath as you spring stillness and intention to your physical body. So I've been really contemplating a lot adversity right now, you know, and what adversity can offer us. So I believe truly that in adversity lies opportunity. And, and that's a perspective that not everyone can see, especially right now, especially during this time. And the way that I look at it is that it's an opportunity, a call to look inward, if we choose to, of course. If we look out to all the external during this time, we're going to get really caught up in what we're perceiving in that moment and probably add a lot of story to it among picking up what everybody else is thinking and saying. And so when we start to experience adversity looking outward, it's more, there's more possibility, more potential that we're, we start to be in a stance of the victim being at the effect of what's happening, maybe even experiencing emotions such as anger and frustration. And we might even do certain actions like point the finger and blame. And instead, this time, when we go through times of adversity, what if it were a call to look inward, to awaken? An opportunity to really recognize that our thinking, which is usually a pattern, is just taking us to a place which is only gonna exacerbate any emotion we're feeling. So go ahead, sink your hips back, bring your knees apart, toes together, and extend your arms way forward in front of you for child's pose. You can drop your forehead down onto the mat and settle in. So one of the gifts which I often say if you practice with me regularly is yoga offers us the opportunity to be witness. To be witness to our breath, to be witness to our body, to be witness to the moment, to be witness to this thinking mind, the thoughts that pass overhead. And when we get stuck in our personal limited thinking, looking at and perceiving more of a problem in the external world, 
we might fight through the adversity. And instead, when we recognize it for what it is, simply thinking, and we be witness to it, we all of a sudden have greater opportunity to presence ourselves, to be in the now. And what we find is in the now, in this moment, that there's so much available that is working. Go ahead, lift your hips up. Extend your arms away forward, anahata asana. Your arms are forward, your hands are spread like stars. Keep lifting your armpits away from the earth and scoop your neck navel in, and then from that space, start to melt your heart down to the mat. So you can either bring your forehead in the direction of the earth or bring your chin in the direction of the earth, keeping your gaze forward. But either way, the hips are directly over your knees. You're still toning your belly toward your back body. The armpits are continually lifting and you're pressing your palms down to get more deeply into the side body, into your chest, into your heart. Now begin to cultivate a deeper breath, connecting even more deeply with your breath. Bringing our attention to what we do want rather than we don't. So in your practice today, as you move on your mat, when you find those challenging moments, whether that's an internal challenge or an external with the posture, see if you can presence yourself to something, a touchstone. Maybe it's your breath. And maybe it's an intention. So let's all set an intention. Walk your fingers back, raise your hips up, and then sink back onto your heels or take any comfortable seated position that you need. You need. I'm sitting in rock pose on my shins, on my calves rather. Let's all place our hand, one hand on our heart and the other hand over our other hand. So left hand on heart, right hand over left. Soften the windows of your eyes. Take an inhale through the nose. Through your mouth, let it go. Giving ourselves full permission to arrive, to be wherever we are in our lives, to remember that we have choice as to how we perceive what's occurring outside of us by tapping back deep, more deeply inside to our own innate wisdom. And go ahead and set an intention for yourself. This is another touchstone. But when you witness your mind going someplace other than now, we're going to a place of more catabolic, more lower frequency to bring you back to the present moment. Bring your hands at your heart center, please. Palm meeting palm. Let's start with one ohm. The universal sound, remembering how we are all so deeply connected. Exhale all of your breath out, please. Inhale. Oh. Bow your forehead to your heart, sealing your practice, sealing your intention. Raise your head, blink your eyes open, and come into a tabletop position. Let's move through a few cat cows intentionally together. Inhale, feel your heart forward, let your heart melt as it settles to the floor. Exhale, round, gaze into your navel as you press your fingertips into the mat. Inhale, looking forward, shoulders on back body, full inhale. Exhale, round, we gaze into the knee. One more time like that, just releasing out the spine. Inhale, exhaling and round. And from here, walk your hands back, stay high with your hips off of directly over your knees, off of your hips, curl your toes under. If this doesn't work, feel free to sink back onto your knees, onto your calves rather. I'm getting the body parts all messed up, so we'll see what comes out. So legs are roughly hip width apart. And I want you to imagine if you don't have a block, I want you to imagine like there's a block in between your thighs. You are going to place a block at the left side of your mat right next to your left knee or a water bottle and your hands come to your hips. Let's do a little bit of a sacral movement here. Stick your tush out to the wall behind you. Your toes are curled under. And then draw your tailbone in. Let your pelvic bone rotate up to the sky. Inhale, let your booty stick slightly behind you. 
Exhale, turn your pelvic bone up to the sky, draw your tailbone in. One more time like that, inhaling, let the booty stick out. Exhale, you come center. So depending on your anatomy, you may or may not have a lot of movement there. That's fine, that's normal. Now staying with your hips directly over your knees and your shoulders over your hips, draw your front ribs into your back body. Take your left arm, reach it up and overhead, palm faces in the direction of the wall to the side of you and then toward the floor as you lean toward the left, your left hand comes onto water bottle or block. Now zip your legs in toward one another, draw your tailbone down, draw your right shoulder on your back body and reach your right fingertips toward the left side of the room more. Maybe you start to bend your left elbow a little bit more to find more side body, continuing to maintain the squeezing in of your legs. Take one, one more exhale here. Both arms reach up to the sky, inhale. And we change, other side. Grab your water bottle or block, take it to the other side. <clears throat> take your left arm, reach it up and overhead, pump face the sidewall, and then down as you extend to the side. Think like you're a high jumper. You're jumping over a bar that's to the side of you and you gotta really find more length as you keep the integrity of your center. Really look for even more space from your left knee to your left fingertips. Now draw left shoulder, draw shoulders on your back body more. Maybe bend into your right elbow more. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, both arms reach up high to the sky. Hands come onto your, your hips, maybe your thumbs into your back body. You're gonna find that one more time, sacral movement, stick your tush out. And then draw your tailbone in, press your hips forward, draw your shoulders on your back body and start to lean your torso back. Keep your gaze forward, gaze down your nose, squeeze your legs toward one another, your hips are pressing forward. Again, you're thinking like a high jumper, jumping up and back and over, so you gotta keep that integrity in the center. Draw your tailbone in more, you press your thighs forward more, more shoulders on your back body, and keep drawing shoulders on your back body as you descend your torso back. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, come up. Center. Stay on your toes. Just shift your hips back so you're sitting onto your heels. Raise your knees off the floor. <clears throat> you can stay here with your hands on the floor. Bring your heart hands to your heart center. You can stay here or take your left arm up to the sky and take your right arm up to the sky. Arms, palms facing toward one another. Your knees are lifting to the height of the hips. Now turn your pinkies back slightly, drawing your shoulders on your back body. Now reach your front ribs back toward your back body and your tailbone in the direction of the earth. Stay here. Stay here for the exhale. Stay high on your toes. Inhale, come slowly, 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 all the way up to stand. Stay high on your toes, high on your toes. Squeeze your legs toward one another. Exhale, release your heels, hands to your heart center, and mindfully maintaining the integrity of your breath, staying with your intention, one step at a time, walk up to the top of your mat, mindfully. Very aware of your movements. And once they're at the top of your mat, your hands to your heart center and pause. Take an inhale. Through your mouth, let it go. If your feet aren't together to touch, please bring them together to touch. Release your hands down to the side of your body. Inhale, reach your arms up high as you squeeze your legs toward one another. Take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Take an inhale here, squeeze your legs together, draw that tailbone in. Exhale, left arm over toward the right side body stretch. Same as you did when you were on the floor. Really reaching, rooting your feet down, looking for more space from your left foot to your left fingertips. Now notice if your left hip dropped back behind you, can you level your hips more, drawing it forward? And now more shoulders on your back body. Stay for the exhale. Root into your feet, inhale, come all the way up, release your arm, and then exhale, change other side. Left wrist grab, grabs, grabs a hold of the right hand. Squeeze your legs together, right hip draws back, shoulders on back body, stay and breathe. More space, more breath. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, both arms reach up, release your grip, but keep extending and reaching your arms. Chest expansion, 
Bending your elbows to the side like you're doing a lap pull down, shoulders on back body, press your thighs forward like you did before when you were on your knees. Inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky. We're doing two more like that. So the tailbone draws into your body, pelvic bone presses forward, hips press forward, shoulders on back body. Exhale, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chest expansion. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up with your heart. Inhale, reach up. Both hands bow forward over your legs, forward fold through the tanasana. Let it go. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank pose, pause. Modifications on your knees at any time. Gaze stays forward, thighs are lifted and buoyant. Pause, breathe. Strong, spread fingers. Shift your weight, sl weight slightly forward. Shift it back. Inhale slightly forward. Shift it back. If you're on your knees, you're still going to feel this. Everyone engage your navel. So corset your whole center. Breathe. Keep going slightly forward, slightly back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Three more. Three. Two. We're meeting in neutral plank pose. Pause. Elbows are going to kiss into the side. We're slowly lowering down to count three. Elbows kiss in, lower down. Gaze stays slightly forward. Two, elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. And one, all the way down to the floor. Tops of your feet turn to plant. Legs are directly underneath your legs. <laughs> your feet are directly underneath your hips. Suck your shoulders away from the floor. Press your feet down, pelvic bone down, low cobra pause. Really root down your feet. Really root down your pelvic bone. More shoulders on your back body. Inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Two more like that. Inhale, low cobra, peel your heart up. Very light in your hands. Exhale, bow it up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, bow it up. Fingertips walk a little bit forward. Come on, your fingertips, heel of hand lifted. Suck your shoulders off the floor. Inhale, king cobra pause. Shoulders on back body. Peel your heart forward. Peel, peel your fingers back. More shoulders on your back body. More rooting down of your, your pelvic bone and reach your feet back. One more breath. Exhale all the way down. Heel of hand by breastbone. Curl your toes under. Either press to your knees or high push-up position. Lift your hips back and down, down dog. And start to feel your dog out. Maybe you move around, pedal your feet. Whatever feels good. And let's create a little space in silence to connect with yourself. Still your dog. Root your hands. Press them down and forward. Lift the armpit. Scoop the navel in and then melt the heart as your heels and thighs descend back. Two more breaths. Look forward to your hands. Go ahead. Take a walk to the top of your mat. Forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we lengthen the spine as we root the thighs back. Exhale, bow it up. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Hands on hips, shoulders on back. Pause, root your feet down with a flat back. Inhale, all the way up to center. If your feet aren't together to touch, bring them together to touch. Hands at your heart center. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, over to the right. Both arms or one hand, your choice. Inhale, come up center. To the left, up and over. Inhale up center, chest expansion, shoulders on back body, press your pelvic bone forward. Inhale, lifting up, bow forward, let it go. Inhale, we lengthen, step back, plank pose. Elbows kiss in, lower halfway down, listen closely, press yourself back up. Elbows in to your sides, lower halfway down, press yourself back up. Cue change, we lower all the way down to the floor. King Cobra, fingertips wide. Inhale, peel your heart up, shoulders on back body. Lower all the way down. Either high push up or knees, press yourself up and back. Down dog and breathe. So in times of adversity, when life starts to shake up, when things start to shift, when things start to change, when the unexpected happens, the natural tendency the habitual tendency, and even the uh, pattern tendency, the, the hardwired tendency, is to focus on what's not working. We have a choice. We can 
recondition, decondition, and then recondition ourselves to start looking for possibilities. And what will support that is drop into the moment. So take two more breaths as you deeply come back to you. Bottom of your exhale, look forward, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there, feet together, a touch. Inhale, length of the spine halfway, bow it out, let it go. With a flat back, inhale all the way up, hands into your heart center. One more time like that, inhale, reach up to the right, either one wrist or side body with the right arm down. Inhale, reaching up, steady your legs over to the left. Inhale, reaching up. Chest expansion, shoulders on back body. Inhale, both arms up. Bow forward and let it go all the way. We lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, step back, plank pose, lower down to the floor all the way. Inhale for King Cobra, peel your heart up. Bow all the way forward as you exhale. Press yourself up and back, down dog, and breathe. Very big inhale, bottom of your exhale, look forward, step, jump, walk up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we lengthen the spine, bow it out as you exhale. Bend the knees nice and deep, reach your fingertips hovering off the floor, shoulders on back body, shift your weight to your heels, pause. Compress your hips in toward one another, even more, reach the tailbone down, maybe raise your torso up and back even more. Inhale, maybe reach your arms up to the sky or hands to your heart center, your choice. Stay here for three, squeeze the legs together, draw your front ribs back, maybe turn your pinky pinkies back if you're reaching your arms up for two. Listen closely, slowly come onto your heels, stay here, maybe bring your knees forward, raise your arms up so your shoulders are over your hips, stay here, you'll notice a slight shift into your quadriceps. Slowly lower your hips all the way down, hands come down, knees lift up, leg feet lift up, knees are bent, preparing for boat navasana. Hands can stay here, or hands can come behind your knee pits, or hands can reach forward, extend forward. Your legs can always, always reach up and forward. Stay here, breathe for three. Shoulders on that body, raise your torso up more, two. Lower down, half boat. Your hands can stay on the floor if you choose. You're raising, your torso is lifted, your legs are lifted, pause here, breathe. Tone your lower belly in toward your back body, stay for three. You're so strong, stay for two. Come all the way onto your back, raise your legs up to the sky, hands come behind, behind your head. Bring your elbows in to kiss toward one another. Your legs are directly over your hips, squeeze your legs together. Inhale here, just raise torso up, exhale, pull belly down. Inhale here, lift hips up, straight up. So your torso is up, your hips are straight up, directly over your, your feet, or your feet are directly over your hips, stay up a little higher. Release your hips, release your torso, inhale here. Exhale, raise torso up, pull belly down. Inhale here. Exhale, hips up, straight up. It might be a quarter of an inch. That's cool. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Release your hips, release your torso down. Inhale. Exhale, raise torso up, pull belly down. Inhale here. Exhale, lift up hips, straight up. Lift up higher. One more breath. Lower hips, lower torso. Uno mas, uno mas. One more time. Here we go. Inhale. Torso up, exhale, pause, pull belly down, inhale, squeeze legs. Lift hips up, straight, straight up, squeeze legs, squeeze left legs, lift up. Two, release your hips, release the torso, hug your legs into the chest, rock and roll a few times up in the length of the spine if you choose to, or roll to one side. We're meeting all the way to Utkatasana. Come to a nice deep squat, raise your torso up, arms your variation, stay for three. Stay for two. Bow forward, let it go, exhale. Inhale, we lengthen. Plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Lower halfway down. Press yourself back up. <laughs> the lower halfway down, elbows in, thighs stay lifted. Press yourself back up. Here we go, lower halfway down. Lower all the way down. Low cobra or high, your choice. Inhale, peel it up. Take it all the way down, exhale. Press yourself up. 
and back. Down dog, very big inhale. And let it go, woo! Right leg, front the inner thigh, reach it up to the sky, inhale. Knee over right tricep, really shift the weight into your fingertips, bring the knee up nice and high, scoop the navel in, take the leg up high to the sky, inhale. Back to the right elbow, right tricep, lift it up, lift it up, pull it in, pull it in. Take the leg up high. Last one, knee over right tricep, step to the outside of your right hand, drop down to your right knee. Toe heel your, I mean, sorry, left knee. <laughs> toe heel your right foot over to the right slightly. So your toe heeling your right foot to the right, your foot's way out to the right, walk your fingertips forward. Now squeeze your legs in toward one another like you're trying to pull your back knee forward and your forward, your front foot back. Inhale here, shoulders on back body. Exhale, bow forward, lizard pose. Inhale, come on out. Keep squeezing the legs together. Exhale, bow, bending, offering. Inhale, this time we stay. Exhale and bow. You can even bring your elbows down to the floor if you choose. Breathing deeply into that front hip. You're gonna get into your hips today intentionally. Working the action of the tricep, of that chaturanga arm intentionally. And we'll also make sure we stretch out certain areas that we're getting into a little bit, like the quadriceps as well as the shoulders. Staying very mindful with breath, mindful with intention, mindful of your own center. One more breath here. Inhale, pressing yourself up. Toe heel your right foot in just slightly. We're preparing for warrior one feet. Your back foot walks in slightly. Back foot turned out to roughly 10 o'clock at o'clock. Front foot at noon. Feet are up, hip width apart. Lengthen your sternum forward, then raise your torso up. Bending to your front knee, draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Spiral the left inner thigh to the wall behind you. Scissor your legs in, and then reach your arms up high. Parabodasana one. Breathe. Really working the action of the back heel moving in the direction of the earth. That's going to actually help you to settle more deeply into your front knee. Now draw your tailbone into your body more. Take a very big inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Frame your front foot. Listen closely. Curl your back foot under. Step back. Reach the right leg. Let it hover off the floor. Ekapata. Pause. Breathe. Your modification is your feet are down, your, your foot's down, and your knees are down if you choose. Stay for two. Elbows kiss in, lower halfway down. Lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, peel your heart up, lower high. Take it back, down, dog. Inhale, left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, knee over, left tricep. Inhale, left leg reaches. Knee over, left tricep. Bring it up, 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 up. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Bring it up, up, up. Take the leg up high. We're doing one more like that, holding for a moment, and then we'll drop the foot. Hold, pause, breathe, knee over, knee over, knee over. Step to the outside. Drop down your back knee. Left toes turn toward the left. Fingers walk forward and wide. Inhale, squeeze your legs in. Bow it out, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Bow it out, exhale. Beautiful, yep. Yeah. Inhale, lengthen. And this time we settle. And in the settling and the stillness is often when that chitta mind, that monkey mind, will come in more. Even more opportunity to be witness, turn our attention towards something different. One more breath. On your inhale, press into your hands. Toe heel your left foot in, feet are hip width apart. Raise your back knee, turn your foot out slightly. Two o'clock on a clock, front foot's at noon. And start to root into your feet as you raise your torso up. Right inner thigh spirals in and back to the wall behind you. Left hip drawing back, right hip forward, tailbone in. Inhale, arms reach up when you're ready. That rooting down of your feet and of the tailbone actually allows you to lift up higher with your heart, with your torso. Notice if that front knee drops in toward the toe, the big toe. Give a little love to the pinky toe, keep it alive. Stay here for two more breaths. Big breaths. 
Inhaling. Exhale, release, bring the foot, step back, let the left foot hover if you choose, pause. Breathe, hips are lifted, level, right leg's buoyant, inhale. Elbows kiss in, lower halfway. Lower all the way, inhale, peel your heart up. Yes, take it back, down dog, and breathe. Hmm. Hmm. Very big inhale here. Look forward, bend your knees, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get. Inhale, we lengthen. And bow it out as you exhale. Bend the knees nice and deep. Utkatasana, inhale. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale all the way up to stand. Hands to your heart center, exhale. Bend your knees, Utkatasana. Reach your arms up. Exhale, bow it out, let it go. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back. Lower all the way to the floor. Inhale to that cobra, your choice. Exhale, take it back, down dog. Right side, step it all the way forward. Warrior one, on your inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, release your hands down, either akapata or not, your choice. Move through your vinyasa, lowering down. And then inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, take it back directly with your left leg. Step forward all the way through. And your inhale takes you all the way up. Exhale, release it down, frame your front foot. Back up hot if you choose, lower down. Inhale, open. Directly to the other side, exhale, take it back. Your right foot on that same exhale, steps forward. Inhale, take it on up, warrior one, warming up. Exhale, release, frame your foot, back up hot if you choose, lower down. Inhale, we peel it up. Exhale, take it back, same left side, same breath. And then inhale, reach it up. Exhale, take it back, back up, lower down. Inhale, lift it up. Take it back, exhale, to the right, cue change, step forward, all the way, warrior one, reach it up. Opening up, Virabhadrasana two, moving your feet, a wider stance, heel to arch alignment. Front heel is cutting directly to the center arch of your back foot. We're settling deeply into our front knees, so our knees directly over our ankle. Really seal the outside edge of your back foot so you're working the back leg. And then if this cue works for you, draw your, your heels in toward one another. Draw them in like you're trying to pull them in toward one another. Yes, now open your left rib, rib cage toward the back of the mat. Let your arms float up. Stay here or take your gaze forward to the front of the room or front of your mat. Breathe. Nice, breathe. Listen closely, keep your legs where they are, really open the knee toward the pinky toe, work the back foot, flip your front palm. We're gonna take reverse warrior and really focus on that side body. So take that top arm, bend it, reach it back behind you, bring your bottom arm behind your head, both of your arms are behind your head, clasp your hands, clasp your fingers. If you're not sure, look, I'm just showing you to the thing. So clasp your fingers, pull, pull your hands toward away from one another. Draw your shoulders on your back body more. Sink into your front knee as you work your back leg and look for space from your left hip to your left elbow. Right, sorry, your right hip to your left elbow as much as you can. More side body. Stay here. Listen closely. Inhale, keep your clasp. Exhale, imagine, lift your right elbow up and then imagine like you're trying to lay your whole right side body on your right thigh. Lengthen, 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 pause. We're preparing for Parsvokanasana. Your whole right side body is moving toward the right leg. Then release your right hand, either elbow on knee or hand on floor or block. Top arm lifts up. Yes, work your back leg, open your front knee toward your pinky toe and tack your right hip into your body. Now remember the squeezing in of your heels, draw them in toward one another. Turn your palm, your, your top palm back to the wall behind you. Reach back behind you, grab onto clothing or your thigh. Draw shoulders on your back body with a half a bind with your left arm. Yes, now lengthen your sternum forward more to the top of your mat. Stay here. Beautiful, listen closely to the cues or of course look up, but if you can listen. 
Start to toe heel your left foot a little forward toward your right foot. Just a little bit. Yeah, stay here or let your right hand hover off the floor. And we're gonna slowly shift the weight into the right leg, mindfully and super slow, come into half moon, balanced with your right arm, if you can, off the floor. If it's not, it's on your block or on your water bottle. The back leg is lifted parallel to the floor. You're flexing your left toes toward your face. Your left leg is directly under your hip. You're working your balance, stay for three, Stay for two, beautiful. Listen closely, we step all the way back to where we were, then take the top arm, reach it back up and over like warrior, two, reverse warrior like we did, and then start to straighten your front leg. Reverse triangle, so reach your top arm back. You can keep your bottom arm and let it extend down your back thigh. Work your feet into the floor, inhale here. Exhale, release your hands down, frame your front foot. Lift the right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee into your nose, exhale, pull the foot in toward the tush. Inhale, take the leg high, listen closely. Draw the knee in, but keep your arms in down dog arms. Then take your right chin and cross it over your left thigh. So you're in figure four down dog with your right foot crossing over your left thigh. Walk your hands back toward your left foot and bend your left knee. Now lift your right hip up because it wants to drop. Lift it up, tone your right belly in and sink your hips down lower. We're in figure four. Hands are on block or floor, your choice. Pause here and breathe deeply into your right hip, lengthening your sternum forward. Stay for three. Navel is lifted. Stay for two. Keep reaching your tailbone back as you lengthen your sternum. You're gonna get more into your hip. And listen closely. One, release your right foot next to your left. Bend your knees deep, Utkatasana. Raise your arms up. And then hands to your heart center, bow forward. Stay coming to a nice deep squat. Your hands are roughly shoulder width apart, spread wide. And open your knees, but keep your feet together. So you're opening your knees, but you're keeping your feet together. Preparing for Bhakasana, bending your elbows in toward one another, just lift your hips. Place your knees behind your triceps, up in the direction of behind your armpits. Shift the weight into the fingers, maybe lift one foot off the floor, and maybe lift the other foot off the floor, squeezing your legs in toward one another, or just teeter back and forth, shifting the weight slightly forward into your fingertips. Scoop the navel in. Stay for three. Stay for two. And one, release your legs down, bring your feet hip width apart, bow forward over your leg. Inhale, length of the spine, beautiful. Exhale, bow it out. Go ahead, turn your palms up to the sky, walk onto your hands, walk your feet all the way up toward your wrists so your toes are massaging your wrists, and bow forward as you shift the weight slightly forward to your heel of your hand. Your knees are as bent as you need for your anatomy. Take good care of yourself. This is your practice, your time. One more breath. Whatever intuitively is calling to you. So if that's shaking out your head, whatever it is, relaxing your jaw a little bit. Making a few sighs. And release your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Walk all the way out to plank pose, please. Lower down onto your elbows, please. You're on your forearms, your thighs are lifting, your hips are the level of your shoulders, your thighs are buoyant. Pause and breathe. Shift the weight slightly forward. Shift it back. Shift it forward. Shift it back. Shift it forward. Shift it back. One more. Forward and back. Swing your right forearm so it's parallel to the top of the mat. Turn on to the right, um, the, turn your, Pinky side edge of your foot on the floor and stack your legs. Or you can drop down to your bottom knee. Hand, left hand on your hip. Inhale, dip your hip down to the floor. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, dip it down. Exhale, lift it up. Keep the navel tone. Inhale, press it up. Press into your elbow to lift your hips. Inhale, press up. Two more. Inhale, drop the hip. Press up. Inhale, drop the hip. Press up, meet back into forearm, pause here, breathe. And other side, we swing the left elbow 
We're going to form parallel right hand on hip stack. Your legs are drop your knee down. Inhale, take the hip. Exhale, lift it up. Tone your belly in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Lift. Two. Lift. And one. Lift it up. Back to form. We pause and breathe for three. Breathe. Stay buoyant in your hips. Stay buoyant in your belly. Two. Listen closely. Press up to your left hand. Press up to your right hand. Lift your hips up. Down dog. Beautiful. Inhale here. You're doing so good. Exhale it out. Pause and breathe. If you need to drop to child's pose, please. Just notice what happens when the tension maybe starts to build, when things get a little hard. Where does your mind go? Where you maybe habitually have an energy pattern? And where would you rather put your attention and your focus? If you're not there already, meet back and down dog, please. Inhale here. Let it go as you exhale. Left foot's gonna step forward all the way through. Inhale, Bear Madrasana one. Open it up. Exhale, Bear Madrasana two. Settle deeply, find your feet. Turn into your innate wisdom to know what you need to sink more deeply into this posture. Staying steady in the foundation of your legs. Top arm, palm flips. Top arm reaches up. Clasp your hands behind your head. Pull away. Find space in that whole side body without losing the front knee, without losing the back foot. We stay and breathe. Just raising your torso, inhale, we're starting to peel or place the whole left side of your body toward the thigh. Reach, 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 reach. You gotta work your back leg, you gotta draw your left hip into your body. Reach, 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 reach. Then drop the hand down, reach the top arm up. We pause, we find our foundation again. Squeezing the legs in will help you find greater length and space. Turn your top palm, reach back, grab a hold of something, pause. Breathe. Gaze down to the floor. We start to shift the weight slightly forward, toe heeling your left foot a little closer into, right foot into merge your left foot. Gaze forward, maybe let your left hand hover if you can. We start to shift the weight even more. Start to raise, keeping our hips open, the back leg open to the side wall. Flex your toes towards your face, back leg parallel to the floor. Left hand is hovering, we stay and breathe. For three, lengthen the sternum, press through your back heel. If you're, if you're wobbly, it's okay. If you fall out, it's okay. Come back in. It's only a problem if you think it is. Whatever meaning we give is what it becomes. So really be with yourself. Two, mindfully, slowly, we step all the way back, meaning where we were. And then the release is revolve triangle. Straighten your front leg, top arm up and over. Reach back, pause, back arm, any variation that you choose. Find your feet, tailbone reaches down. Side body is long. Inhale, raise your torso up. Exhale, release your hands down. Bring your front foot, step back, plank pose, pause. Elbows kiss into the side, just for three. Lower down halfway. Press yourself back up. Lower down halfway. Press yourself back up. Lower down halfway. Press yourself back up. Listen closely, lift your hips down, dog. Left leg reaches to the sky, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, we round, we shift. Take the leg up high, inhale. This time, listen closely, we draw the knee in toward the nose, but keep our down dog arms. Pause, scoop your navel in. Then cross the left shin over your right thigh. Start to bend your right knee as you walk your hands back, settling your weight back. So you're bending your knees, so your hips are the height of your knee. Lift your left hip up, it wants to drop. Lift your left belly up, it wants to collapse. 
Then lengthen your sternum, settle a little bit more deeply, open the left knee to the left side of the room, pause. Breathe. One more breath. Release all the way down, bow forward over your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Bend your knees nice and deep. Open your knees wide to the side, hands on the floor, shoulder width apart. Lift your hips up, scoop your belly in. Bend your elbows in toward one another. We shift the weight into our fingertips. Maybe take one foot, maybe take the other. Bakasana, second step. We stay here and breathe. For three, shift the weights a little bit more to your fingertips. Pull and round in your upper body. Scoop the navel in. Maybe start to stretch in your arms a little bit more too. And the release is malasana. Knees feet come wide, toes turned out. Knees in the direction of the toes. Maybe hands to your heart center. Pause and breathe. Beautiful work. Tending to you, loving how you're tending to you. It's good. One more breath here. And bow it out, exhale, forward fold over your legs. Feet are hip width apart, so just toe them in, and toe the heel them in slightly. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then start to walk your hands out back to a plank pose. Lift your hips up and back, down dog. Very big inhale, exhale it out. Inhale deeply. Bottom of your exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we lengthen, bow it out as you exhale. With a flat back, inhale all the way up to stand, reach up, reach up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Let's work our balancing posture a little bit. <clears throat> We've worked a lot of different areas of our body and now we're just gonna work our balance with it. So. The right leg's gonna be the foundation. Go ahead, raise your left leg off the floor for staff pose, flex your toes towards your face. You can bring your, your hands around your left shin. Now tack your left hip down, really tack it down. Shoulders are over rest, your right leg's rooting back. You can stay here or take your right hand to the outside edge of your left knee and take your left hand on your sacrum, feeling your hips level facing forward to the front of the room. Press your hand in the knee, knee in the hand, keeping the knee directly in front of your left hip. Then start to twist with your shoulders on your back body, your torso over to the side, maybe to the back of the room. So you're zipping your legs in, that front knee is not crossing over your center, your hips are not moving anywhere, they're staying forward. Maybe reach your left arm back to the back of the wall behind you. You can also stay here or take the bottom of your left foot and straighten your left leg, grabbing the outside edge of your left foot. Pause and breathe. You're karate chopping the knee or the foot to the left, keeping the leg to the left side of your body, not crossing. One more breath. Slowly unwind, come back to center, and bring the leg back in, hands around the shin. From here, you can take either your knee out to the side or grab the inside edge of your foot, the bottom of your foot, start to extend the leg out to the side. Listen closely, the hip wants to lift. Everyone, please draw your hip down, whether you have the foot or the ankle. With the hip pressing down, lengthen the knee or the foot to the side of the room. So you can stay here or take your right arm to the right or up to the sky. Pause and breathe for three. Yep, take your time, too. Awesome. Slowly from here, we're going to take that left foot, shin, like you did when you were in down dog, cross it over your right thigh, stick your tush up back to the wall behind you, spiral your inner thighs in, back, and apart, then back down for figure four. You can absolutely stay here. You've been here. Otherwise, work the arm balance. You've worked the tricep. Your hands come down onto the floor. Your elbows kissing toward one another. Now go ahead, create a shelf. Wrap your toes around your right tricep. Then like let you let your um your 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 shin drop onto the back of your tricep, bending your elbows, maybe take the front foot off the floor. Pause here, breathe. You can stay there or extend the back leg behind you. Stay here, breathe. Tack your left hip down. One more breath. And then slowly release. Coming to either malasana or forward fold. Let's all come to malasana and look forward. So the knees are wide. The toes are wide, 
hands to your heart center. So as you're staying here and just breathing, I want to just pause for a moment for you to see these slight, slight, slight uh, intricate things that we get into. So when we're here, <clears throat> so the, the options are knee bent or <clears throat> leg straight, okay? So I'll show you knee bent first. What I meant, or I'll show you leg straight because it's going to be more clear. What I meant is keeping this leg forward is oftentimes when, I, when we do this posture, I see this happen. We cross our midline or I see this happen. The foot crosses over. And instead, what I would prefer you to do today for right now is keep the foot or the knee directly in front of our hip. So you're karate chopping. So you're not letting it go beyond your midline, okay? Keeping the hips level. So the same thing with the foot. You're karate chopping your foot in. So I'm pressing my foot into my hand, hand on my foot. So when I take the twist, watch, I'm not gonna change my hips. I'm taking the twist, but I'm karate chopping, working the action, keeping my leg. And like mad, I'm not letting my foot cross over, so I'm working the action. Now when we take the knee or the leg to the side, this is what also happens. This hip wants to lift. When it lifts, I have less work here. I have less action here, so that means my balance is gonna be off. So the more I take this hip and drop it down, it's actually gonna give me more power in this leg. Same thing with the knee, if I take that hip down, it accesses, because now I'm stacked, and now I can get more deeply into the posture, okay? So let's work that again, and then for those that are going into the arm balance, really just use the action of the elbows that we worked already. Use your fingertips and shift the weight, wrapping and creating that shell. Maybe let the foot teeter, and maybe you just do that a few times to see what it's like, okay? For those that are extending the leg, you reach it back, maybe slightly up as you keep bending your elbow. Okay, great, it's gonna be awesome. Come to the top of your mat, take a stand, pause and breathe. Woo! So being wobbly, it's okay. Falling out, it's okay. How are you meeting yourself during adversity, right? Challenge. Left leg to sound the foundation, raise the right knee off the foot, foot off the floor, shin, hands around your shin. Pause. So right here, notice your right knee is directly in front of your right hip. We want to keep it there. Stay here or taking your knee or your foot onto the outside edge of your right knee or foot. Your right, your left hands on your right, your right hands on your sacrum. Hips are level. Shoulders on back body. Just start to twist the torso to start. You can stay here or reach the arm back behind you. Stay here or take the hand to the outside edge of your foot if you're not already, taking that twist. Karate chopping your knee or foot toward the right as you press, sorry, toward the left, pressing hand into foot, foot into hand or knee into hand, hand into knee. Now lengthen your sternum and the crown of your head up more. Stay for one more breath. We mindfully unwind and release, bring the shin back, the knee back in. The hands around your shin, pause, and then just decide, is it knee or foot? Whatever you're grabbing, go ahead, grab it. Notice how the hip lifts up. Once you have the posture, then drop that hip down, keeping the shoulder stacked over your hips. I like to press my heel into my hand and my hand into my heel. If you choose to, take the left arm to the right, the, to the left. Jeez, take the, left, the gaze over the left. One more breath. Oh yeah. Figure four, we slowly take that foot in, cross it over, really spiral your inner thighs in and back, reach your tush behind you, lengthen your sternum, then bring your hands down, shoulder width apart. Elbows kiss in, we wrap the foot around, we create a shelf with our tricep or our shin, shift the weight, and then maybe take your top back toes off the floor. We stay in play for three. Two, use your breath. And one, let's all come to child's pose, please. Knees apart, toes together. If you're playing and you want to play more, please do. In child's pose, let's just reset. Practice being witness to the thoughts. 
staying present with ourselves, create space for our own wisdom to come through. And maybe that chatter goes a little bit more on the periphery. Really beautiful work. Raise your torso up, please. Awesome. <clears throat> and from here, let's go ahead, press yourself back to down dog. Stretching out your spine, pressing in your hands. Inhale, raise the right leg high to the sky. Knee over right tricep, shift the weight. Step to the outside again. You were here before, drop down to your back knee, but we're gonna take a twisted thigh stretch from here. Left hand walks out to the left, right hand onto your right thigh. Press your thigh out and away as you squeeze your legs in. Stay here, great place to stay. Otherwise, let your back foot get light. Reach back with your right hand, grab to the outside edge of your foot, kick your foot in the hand, hand to foot, as you melt into your front thigh. If this doesn't work for you, for those that practice with me regularly, you know the drill. Drop onto your belly, roll over to your right, left hip. <laughs> Your foot comes to your tush, your knees directly over me, and then kick foot in the hand, hand in the foot, to press the hip forward. So you're on your side, pressing your hip forward, pulling the knee foot toward your tush, or you're in your twisted thigh. We stay for three. Stay for two. And one, and release. However you want to get there, make your way to dog. Inhale, left leg reaching. Knee over left tricep. Step to the outside, drop down to your back knee, roll over that kneecap, right hand out to the right, left hand on your left thigh, press it away. Stay here or let the foot get light. Reach back with your left hand, grab the inside edge of your foot, kick foot in the hand, hand in the foot, pull the foot closer to your chest. To your tush and maybe start to lower the pelvic bone in the direction of the floor and breathe. One more breath. Wonderful, and slowly release. Take it back, make your way back to down dog. Just two breaths here and dog. Look forward, step or jump up. When you're there, take a seat. So from here, let's bring the right leg in toward your chest, bending your knee, your left toes or facing to the sky. And take your right foot, cross it over your left thigh, place the foot on the floor. <clears throat> Flesh away from your sit bones, so you really want to level your hips as much as you can, and then place your hands around your front knee, so you're really finding your center here. Reach your tailbone down, tone your belly in toward your back body, shoulders over your hips, and lengthen the crown of your head. Feel a regalness across your chest. And take the right arm to the side of you, slightly behind you. The left arm reaches high. Inhale. Let's take a seated tweet, twist. We either bring the hand to the outside edge of your knee or the elbow to the knee. Maybe walk your right fingers back a little bit more. Reach through the left leg as you press elbow to knee, knee to elbow, and twist toward the right. Crown of the head reaches, the shoulders of the back body more, and more breath across your chest. Inhale here. Unwind as you exhale. We're going to do one more fun thing. I think this is called crocodile. So from here, turn your left toes. Make them make sure they're to the, pointing through the side of your mat. And you're going to take your hands down toward the outside edge of your left side of your mat with your toes in the direction of where your torso is going. Your right left toes will turn toward the pinky side edge of your foot. And then from here, and I'm, I'm trying to think of the best way to show you guys. You just bow forward like you were in lizard pose before. You're, you're bowing forward, your toes dropped, your left toes dropped over toward the left. 
From here, what I want you to do is take your right hand, grab onto the pinky side edge of your left foot. Pressing your, your left elbow is bent and out to the side. You're grabbing onto your foot, and then I want you to lift your hips up as you lengthen your sternum and press your front heel forward. So you're pressing into your front knee, your, front, your left, your right foot, lifting up, lifting your hips, elbows bent out to the side. Lift up, lift up, and then release down. <laughs> yeah, good. Bring the right knee back in. So cross it out from underneath. Open your right knee toward the right. Again, flush away from your sit bones. Fingertips either side of your body. Find a long straight spine, and then bow forward over your heart. And breathe. Beautiful. Turning inward. Your expression, whatever that looks like for you. You can grab a hold of your foot if you want. Place your head on a block if you want. Whatever works for you. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, raise your torso up. Let's change it, other side. Your right leg comes forward, left knee in. <clears throat> then take your left foot, cross it over, flesh away from your sit bone, find your center. Take the hand around your front knee to pause. Shoulders on back body. If you have the catcher's mitt happening, See if you can either draw shoulders on back body to lift your sternum, or you may have to sit on something to lift your hips a little bit higher. Left hand to the side of your body, slightly back, right arm reaches to the sky. Inhale, find length in that side body. Take the, take the twist, exhale. Keep reaching the crown of the head as you root down with your tailbone, your left foot. Breathe deep. Inhale here, exhale, we unwind. From here, we take the hands, bow them forward over in the direction of your left toes. So really turn your left toes toward the left side of your mat. Your elbows are bending out to the side. And we're just gonna bend over, pausing, the elbows bending out for a moment. We just pause, releasing out the lower back, just kind of getting the body ready for where we're going. The right arm is gonna stay out to the right, bending the elbow. You're gonna take your left hand, Grab the outside, the pinky side edge of your left foot, the toes turned down, the pinky side edge of your tips of your hands, of your foot down. Your right hand's gonna press, you're gonna press and lift your hips up, pause and breathe, elbows out, you gaze towards your foot, stay and breathe for three. Reach your tailbone back, two. Reach your sternum forward, and then release all the way down. Beautiful work, and release it. Uncross just the left leg, and then open the knee to the side. Flesh away from your sit bone again. Find your rooting, find your grounding. Fingers to the side, pause, inhale. And then bow forward, exhale. Any vari variation that you choose with your arms. But either way, you're softening and surrendering, getting the nervous system just to settle. You've done the work, you showed up, now we just allow ourselves to unwind, simulate our parasympathetic, relax, receive in more yin postures. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, raising the torso up. Let's open up those inner thighs. I'm gonna call floor frog. You can of course come into Baddha Konasana, knees apart, toes together. If you, you may wanna stack something so you have a little bit more comfort underneath your knees. You're bringing the knees nice and wide. Your feet are directly underneath your knees, okay? So from here, you're on your hands and you can kind of notice if you shift the weight slightly back, gets into one area. If you shift the weight slightly forward, it gets into another. So it depends on the day for me. But walk your knees as wide as you can. Make sure your feet are directly under your knees. Now flex your feet, flex your feet. And then maybe you can either drop down to your elbows 
And if this works for you, you can drop all the way down, bringing even more of your chest down to the earth. And just notice again, what happens if you stick your tush back by pressing into your elbows, how it gets a little bit more deeply into your inner thigh. And really stay and breathe. It's very, very common. It's very habitual. It's very conditioned to tighten, to tighten when we feel challenge, to grip, to see if you can just relax, not add a lot of meaning to it, a lot of story to it. Choose a point of focus. Maybe that's your breath. Maybe that's your intention. Maybe it's a mantra, whatever it is. Create a little more space from any catabolic thinking pulling you in a direction that you don't want to go into. Just a little bit of space. One more breath. You have a choice. You can either completely come onto your belly and then windshield wipe through your legs mindfully. Please move gently or press yourself all the way up and back. And then you can either grab your feet, your knees together or pull them together, your choice. Yeah, and then when you're ready, just make your way. We're gonna come to Ustrasana. You don't have to do Ustrasana. You can come onto your back to do bridge, but we've been here already. Uh, curl your toes under. <clears throat> Find that little bit of a sacral movement again. Tush back, tush forward, tush back, tush forward. And hips directly over knees, shoulders directly over hips to start. Hands on hips as you draw your shoulders on back body and squeeze your legs in as you lift up. And maybe start to reach your right hand back either to your thigh or to your heel of your hand or to your block. Take your left arm up and then maybe reach it back. If you feel it's comfortable, Drop your head back, but only if it feels okay. Otherwise, the gaze is stuck in fall. Keep squeezing your thighs toward one another, pressing your pelvic bone forward. Stay here for the exhale. Raise your torso up, inhale. This time, your left arm reaches behind you, your right arm reaches high to the sky. Press your hips forward, squeeze your legs in, and drop back. Breathe. For three. Four, two. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. You can do precisely what you just did, one at a time, just take a few breaths in both. Or go ahead, both arms reach back towards your heels, pelvic bone forward, tailbone into body. Either keep your gaze slower, or if it's comfortable, drop your head back, full of stress. For four deep breaths. Shoulders on back, body, breathe deeply into your heart. One more breath. Rooting your tailbone down, rooting your heels, knees down, raise your torso up, and then back to a tabletop position. Move through a few cat cows, inhaling and exhaling round. And I'm just going to get us into our shoulders a little bit more. Drop down to your elbows. Arms are shoulder width apart. Round your upper body. Scoop your navel. Engage into your heart. Curl your toes under. Let your knees lift off the floor. And then come to dolphin pose. Pressing your forearms down. Walk your feet a little closer. Scoop your navel in. Pause and breathe. And the more you press your forearms down and press your chest toward the thighs, the more you're going to get into your shoulders. Same for three. It's two. Listen closely. Drop down to your knees. Bring your elbows off the floor. Walk your hands forward back to where we started. Anahata asana. The arms are long. The fingers are spread. The armpits lift. We scoop the navel in. Keep the armpits lifted. We drop the torso down. We're again bringing more space across our chest. Space in our tricep. Pausing and breathing.
Inhale, raise your torso up, walk your hands back. Go ahead, sit to one side, swing your legs forward in front of you. Scoop your navel in, lower all the way down to your floor, the floor, please. Bring the knees to the outside edge of your rib cage, grab onto your shins. Bring one knee down and the other like you're steering a big ship. I love ending class this way personally. So that's why for those that practice me, you know that we do stay here or take happy baby, bringing your feet directly over your knees, grab the inside edge of your feet, drop your knees to the outside edge of your rib cage. Everyone start drawing your tailbone down, your shoulders down, your head down to the floor. And if you want to start moving around joyfully, extending one leg, then the other, go for it. Staying intentional, staying with yourself as you move. Two more breaths. Go ahead, hug your legs into your chest. And I want you to do a little check-in. Is there something else you're craving right now? Please take the posture so mindfully. Otherwise, when you are ready, Savasana, legs extend in front of you, feet fall to the side, palms open, receptive. Open your arms wide, take up space. If you have something to cover your eyes, please do. I find it very useful to drop a little deeper. If your shoulders are on your back body, so maybe raise one shoulder, bring it underneath, then the other. And with your palms open, your eyes closed, we turn inward. We stay receptive to life occurring around us. And we settle in to possibility. We settle in to this extraordinary energy, Mother Earth underneath us, always guiding us, always, always supporting us. And we let the magic happen as we settle, we receive, we surrender. Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnata Purnamutakshate, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Vashishate. Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnata Purnamudakshate, 
Purnatya Purna Madaya Purnan Meva Vashishati Begin to deepen your breath. And as you wake yourself up, notice the subtle differences that have occurred. How can you invite yourself to this now new moment, a moment that's never been lived, where you allow yourself to show up a new? You're not the same you were when we started. Bringing movement to your body, filling your space consciously with the energies you desire to experience more of. And then when you're ready, hug your legs into your chest and bask in the frequency of gratitude for your life, for all the things that support you, for your temple, for this moment. Rolling to your right side, using your hands, pressing yourself up to any comfortable seated position, hands drawn right in front of your heart center, palm meeting palm. Take a very big inhale, bring your mouth, let it go. Divine Masters, Mother Earth, Gurus, Angels, we thank you for this time and space. Maybe you recognize that we have this glorious thing called a mind, understanding that is the only way we experience consciousness. When we recognize we have deep patterns, we have deep beliefs, we have all these different things of this consistent, consistent thinking that comes through. May we remember in a moment, we can allow a little space from it, get quiet from it. And Find a new, find something different, find a new opportunity instead of just an old story, an old pattern or someone else's belief. May we drop into our innate wisdom again and again, remembering and seeing the opportunities that are in front of us through all, even the challenges, even the adversity. Take a very big inhale, bow forward to the true guru inside of your own selves. Hariyam Shanti Shanti, peace, namaste. Thank you so much. <laughs>